So we're leaving Balanced Rock. We're gonna leave it right where it's at. <laughs> Balancing. Took there. a phenomenal picture. My bald head matched the balancing rock perfectly. <laughs> Kinda did, actually. <laughs> Arches National Park. We're trying it again and it is Thursday. We've gotten up early so it's like 7.14. Got our gas. We're ready to go in the park and it looks open today. Yahoo! For a private vehicle it's $30 and we bought our pass back in Arizona several months That's back. The strangest thing. There's nobody here. So look at that. Nobody's there. Entrance station closed. What did they purchase? Something? Yesterday when we came, through, well a couple days ago we went to Canyonlands, they just let us in. They didn't take our card, but I was going to say we have an annual pass that we bought in uh, February and uh, was 80 bucks. So really that's the way to do it, otherwise it's $30 and I think it gets you in for a week if you pay that price, but apparently today it's free. clock in the morning and there's people everywhere we're gonna we're gonna take the hike to delicate arch we were trying to take the easy way because we biked slick rock 9.4 miles yesterday and we wanted to just do the easy little hundred yards out viewpoint of delicate arch but it was closed they were doing construction on the trail so we were forced and <laughs> hiking 1.5 miles up and 1.5 miles back, but we're gonna actually get to see the arch, which I'm excited about. The only problem is, is when you get out there and you've got an arch like this, it's really hard to get a nice picture because there's just so many people up there. But we're hoping for the best. Yep. We're not pushing a bike up this today. just did the one and a half mile hike up to the delicate arch which is the arch that you see like on the Utah um, like license plates mm -hmm. and I think it's just their kind of their what do you call it signature arch <laughs> but it was absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh breathtaking and uh, just so many nice people up there you kind of get in line you form a line to take a picture and people behind you or ahead of you will take your photo and it's just the friendliest people we met people from michigan and people from north carolina north carolina so it's just 
people from all over the world are coming and you hear yeah different languages and everything so absolutely worth the, the hike wouldn't you say stan mm. glad we did it it's a hump but uh i don't know you just kind of feel filled with joy i think it's the sight but also the people and people seeing that and i think i think also is because so many people said you you have no idea how long that arch will continue to stay and so it's something like the glaciers um you want to photograph that while it's still here and while it's still with us yeah that's a good point i just wonder if they like know how long you know if they have a speculation of how long that will last it is delicate <laughs> rock. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. <laughs> Balancing. Took there. a phenomenal picture. My bald head matched the balancing rock perfectly. Kind of did actually. <laughs> That's because bald is beautiful baby. we came early because it's closed again it's full is what they say and then they just make you turn around in this little turn what do you call these roundabouts but that's crazy 11 o'clock by 11 o'clock the place is closed so we got up early as you know we came out gosh we were here by but I don't know we were coming up by 7 7 7 15 so that's the way to do it and then we are yeah it's 11 o'clock we're heading out and we saw not the whole park but we do plan on coming back up another day we saw a lot today had a good day worked out and it's it was perfect 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 day Seat to the uh, to Act 
festivity. <laughs> yeah, under the highway here. And this is the lunch. This is our Reuben for today. The Reuben. And I got our Chipotle chicken sandwich with the ciabatta bun mm. and the sweet potato fries. Anyway, this is one of the better restaurants in town. So we're just checking out the festivities. And as you can tell, there is all kinds of people roaming the streets today. It's Friday. morning we are at dead horse point state park in utah and we are going to ride the intrepid trail system today and they have i guess some of the best mountain biking in utah some of the best they say for beginner and intermediate this is the best ride um they have overlooks along the way so we're going to be able to go look out over um canyon lands and the colorado river gorgeous so yesterday it was 90 degrees <laughs> and we get up here and it turns out to be 57 degrees so and I, windy and windy and i had just taken my jackets and everything out of the oh yeah we each had like three jackets probably at yeah. least so there. i took them all out and so we had to go to the gift store and get these <laughs> we got matching Whoa. We got matching sweatshirts. Uh, matching Fifth sweatshirts. Fourth Point State Park. So we wouldn't freeze to death. Well, they had about five different options, but we, you know, these were still what twenty five bucks each. They were twenty five bucks each, so we said, mm. Yeah. This was twenty this was the cheapest and it jumped to like fifty five, sixty five. So yeah. we're like, we're good. We're good. <laughs> and then we now, could souvenir. we could tie this and if we have to throw it over the over the cliff we can if we want but we yeah. love our matching sweaters can you imagine us walking around now well the funny thing is i think there's several other people we're gonna see on the trail that have these on too so it's gonna be yeah kinda there's a run there's a run so get here now because there's a run on the uh sweatshirts yeah bring for dead horse point. it's not it's like i really always wanted to have a dead horse point <laughs> sweatshirt state park but it's okay um it, it is saving our bacon right now yeah, we got our t-shirts from Utah Moab t-shirts yesterday, and now we have our Dead Horse Point sweatshirts. So all you right. know what? It's all good. Let's get on this ride. All right. Come with us. All right. Bye. because when we were researching Dead Horse Point <laughs> and what we wanted to ride, uh, I was a little confused. So I was trying to watch some videos and things. And um, But when we came into the park, it's $20 to get in. And then um, we drove straight back to the farthest point, which is Dead Horse Point Overlook. And that is beautiful. And then we parked right here, and that's where the visitor center right. is and the gift shop and all that. And this is where we took off into the Intrepid Trail System. We took Intrepid to Great Pyramid, 
Oh, yes. And then to Big Chief. And then Big Chief took us out to the Big Chief Overlook. That was spectacular. And then we rode down that to Raven Roll. And then we pretty much took Raven Roll all the way back to Intrepid and then back to the Visitor Center. And Raven Roll is a really super easy ride. Back. Oh, yeah. That would be easy easy both ways. So that would be a beginning. The other, for sure. the, the, going, the one going out was a little tricky for us. Yeah, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I really like this part of the ride. It's really nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> Great pyramid to um, Big Chief is definitely intermediate. Little, little technical at points, but um, not undoable by any means for a beginner. But it's just going to be challenging. Here you go. Oh. Eight miles. Eight miles was oh, that loop. Was yeah. that loop? The full loop is like fourteen miles, right? Yeah, I I had that. We rode for about an hour and a half, but we did. It took about two hours because we stopped at I think three different overlooks, got out and looked at different things. But basically, you we rode along on the way out. We rode along the rim of the canyon, mm -hmm. which had some spectacular views, and mm -hmm. you and you're like like Grand Canyon cliff kind of stuff. Yeah, it was just, it is gorgeous. And and you know what? This is definitely a must ride. If you're gonna be out this yeah. way, um, must a must ride, great ride. So what they told us is, um, I think this is east, right? Is this east? Yes, east of the road is more beginner intermediate and then west of the road is more of the intermediate black, black diamond. diamond. And if you want to um, ride out here, you have any questions, please reach out. we will be happy to help with what we can. All right, so we're here All at the right, Gifford House. All right, you guys, House. we're here talking to Mountain Man Nate. <laughs> and, and he got the word that he had to be here early for the pie. So, Nate, what time did you get here? I got here at 6.45 a.m. this morning. And he is first in line. And he is nice. first in line. So if you want to get pie at the Gifford House or cinnamon and roll, 6.45 if you want to be number one. And if we want to be number two. 7.30. <laughs> and then after 7.30, we got... <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> sorry.